Hey friends, I hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to my studio. Today I want to paint a cardinal ornament. I've got a traceable with four ornaments on it on my website, annietro.com. So we're going to paint this one. I also have um, under the holiday, if you go to the traceable landing page and you scroll down a little bit, there's some tabs, some links, and you go to the winter holidays and I have eight more ornaments you might want to um, try painting. And you could put them on greeting cards, t-shirts, give them as gifts, whatever sounds fun to you. Oh, someone in my last live, we do lives on Wednesdays, uh, noon central on YouTube, and someone in the last live said that uh, Hobby Lobby has some magnet canvases, which would be really fun. So in, this, in that case, shrink them down <laughs> for the magnets. Um, it's going to be like this gnome ornament we just painted not too long ago. Isn't he cute? Here's, here's a snowman from last year, I believe, that's wired. Okay, let's have some fun. Hey, I've got my cardinal on my canvas. I put white paint in the holes. Oh, this is the next day, just in case that, I don't know, makes more sense. Um, I wrote the word love on the wing with watercolor pencil from Michaels. Oh, these canvases are four inches by four inches from Michaels. And then I put out some hooker's green and it's just about empty. So I put out way more than I need. <laughs> it kind of blobbed. A little unbleached titanium to lighten the green because I'm going to paint a really dark green background and then have the green branches that the cardinal's sitting on maybe kind of come out of that background a little bit. And then I put out some crinacridone magenta to see if um, that might make a nice dark green for me. And I thought I would just pop in and let you know what I'm thinking here. I might want some black. Oh, that's looking pretty dark. I think that's gonna work. I think we'll just do that. Okay guys, I'm gonna paint the background and then I'll pop back in. things that I'm thinking so I've got two coats on here because it covers better in my opinion um, and then when you add a little bit of the unbleached titanium it has white in it so that even makes the colors op more opaque um, this here this um, oh this is just like a little quarter inch flat brush it's a craft brush oh craft smart number 10 here let me I can show you The um, really dark greenish color I made is kind of brown. Nothing wrong with that. But I kind of like it looking a little blacker, so two layers help with that. That's where I'm going with that thought. So that's a titanium white, heavy body. So let's um, just kind of wiped off my brush a little bit. Oops, is that on camera? And it does look pretty brown. 
because when you mix um, red and green opposite the color wheel, so quinacridone is really close and Hooker's green is really close, you'll get shades of either warm or cool gray. And I got a pretty warm gray there. <laughs> Which is fun. I think that's fun. Um, so then I just mixed some green, you know, with that basically warm gray I made. I was aiming for a black and then just swirled it around my painting. I left a little bit of the branches just so I remember where they are. But um, we're gonna stop here. And then if you wanna go check out the live, it's on October 27th, 2021. Uh, Wednesdays at noon is when we've been doing them. And it'll show me painting the, the Cardinal live. And I'm also gonna wire uh, this ornament, show you how, to, how I wire it so that it looks like this one and the trait I have traceables on my website for this one for about 12 of them all actually not about for 12 of them all together so if you want to do several ornaments I have uh, 12 different ones right now as I'm videoing this I may have more next year um, if you like you can paint you might enjoy um, so if you want to see me wire this pop over the live otherwise I think what I'm gonna do and I we're learning so we'll see how this works I'll download the live and fast forward it after this point. So if you don't want to go pop over to the live, you can just watch it in time lapse after this point. Okay guys, I'll be back after that.
Okay, here is how far I got in the live. And then I put the live in this video right before this point as a time lapse, just so you guys know. But if you wanted to go catch, watch it in real time, you can. I'll put a link in this video description. I'm gonna paint a little more, uh, work on the beak, add another layer um, to the face to make it look darker. I th we're pretty close. Oh, we need more, we need more um, pine needles, I think. And I don't know if I'm gonna put in a couple more berries or lighten them up so they're a little brighter. They're all kind of, I put, <clears throat> excuse me guys, I put kind of a gray behind them. So then the red's not as bright. If you put white behind them, then it's brighter. But I can always, here, we'll just do that. I can always grab some white. Let's make this one brighter. Or maybe just make it brighter on one side. We kind of need that to dry. So while that dries, grab some white. So that dark color I made with uh, Hooker's Green. Sorry guys, my throat's dry. Hooker's Green and Quinacridone Magenta. And you can get it a little cooler by adding more green. It's a little brown. I'm gonna give that white a second to dry. Oh yeah, another coat really helps. My beak needs another coat. Oh, we could. So I have like a little blob there, a little mistake. But we could. I don't know what I want to do. I was going to say, you could pull, pull out like some feathers. A little hints of. That might need another coat too. It's a pretty transparent color. A little hints of feathers. Okay, is that... It's um, fall here and cool and so the humidity is lower. And so the paint dries faster. And then this is next day, so everything on here is much more dry than it is um, if you paint it the same day. And let's put. So we kind of just lightened up the side of the berry. Isn't that fun? Okay, I'm going to go to the time lapse and then I'll definitely be back in a bit. Friends, I'm done. I really, you know, I wasn't sure because I had never painted this before. I mean, it's cute. My drawing is cute. I like the idea. Oh, I was thinking maybe a big snowflake, which I didn't do, but you could. Um, but I never know exactly how it's going to look or turn out, and I really like this one. I think it turned out fun. I like that I thought of the berries, which isn't on the traceable, but you can easily add them. They can be circles, they can be kind of tulip shape, whatever, whatever fits you and your handwriting as you paint. I dried it just a smidge with a hairdryer so I could pick it up. That's really fun. The lighter green area, I think, really helps because this area is strong. Okay. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one. I have other cardinal traceables on my website. Uh, you can scale, they're four by four inches, but you can also scale them up if you want or scale them down and simplify them and put them on a little magnet or something. I'm so glad and so happy to connect with all of you. It's just been so good for me. I really didn't want to start a YouTube channel and it has been the best thing I've done. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.